Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I'm here to share with you some cross-stitching. <laughs> Pretty much just cross-stitching, uh, but I'm so happy that you're here. So if you're new, welcome. Um, I'm an American that lives in Ireland and I make crafty videos. And if you are coming back, thank you so much for stopping in to say hello again. So I'm about to go on my vacation. Um, I'm really excited. We're leaving tomorrow. Um, and today is the 1st of November of 2022. And I am a little bit nervous because, you know, you know that anticipation where like, I'm going to forget something. That's where the stage I'm at right now. But we've got our chickens taken care of and we've got Luna being taken care of. So we are good. Um, nobody worry. <laughs> All of the beings in this house are going to be just fine. But yes, you're going to be just fine. And she's going to go stay with her friend Cosmo, which he stayed with us twice this year so far. Hi. Um, so yeah, um, we are off to the Canary Islands and it's going to be just, I just cannot, cannot wait. Now for today's video, I have made a list of all the things that I want to talk about with you because um, last few episodes I have felt very scatterbrained and not at all organized and I prefer to be organized when I make these videos but you know that like if you've been here a while you know that like I go through stages of of you know having my ish together and then not so um the past little bit more than a week has been working to make sure that I have videos for everyone to watch while I'm away. Uh, and if you enjoy, um, if you enjoy my voice, I get a lot of people that say that my voice is relaxing to them or calming. So if you would like to listen to me reading stories, I have several playlists, but I'm going to be releasing a brand new one, brand new series this week. It starts the Grimm's Fairy Tales. I've only done four of them, but if you like them, I might continue or we could choose another another thing. So uh, I believe there's a little bit more housekeeping. Uh, thank you all for all of you who have decided to continue to support me on Patreon. I do have a Patreon. It's the way that I can get money to be able to share things with you. And as someone who lives internationally, it does cost me a quite a bit more. So I do appreciate your support. I really do. It also helps me pay for shipping uh, giveaways and things like that from the channel. So I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, I will be back for our normal um, kind of schedule and everything after the starting on the 14th of November. So I have two weeks. <laughs> Um, yeah, because I'll be gone. Yeah. Yeah, it, I'll be back by the 14th. So half of this month is going to be spent in beach mode. Um, so let's start with cross stitch. I have a fully finished object. And it is not that pin cushion. <laughs> like I was hoping it is the midnight way. This is, and I do apologize for the mic light and all of the reflection. There we go. This is the Midnight Way by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. This was a kit that I purchased from thehomemakery.co.uk. And it is finally fully finished into this frame. Um... It is not perfect, but I did manage to get the proportions mostly right. It's just the weave of the fabric that in some places is not straight, which you cannot see from the normal viewing distance. So I'm quite happy with the Midnight Way. I just did the, a very loose, very loose, um, whoop, sorry, a very loose lacing technique on the back to keep it on the original backing and I'm gonna have this sit now uh, there are clips on the back of this that are there to help um, hang it up on the wall uh, but I did I put it on backwards it wouldn't surprise me if I put it on backwards anyway I cannot find them um, oh there they are I can feel them I might have to make holes in the uh, fabric in order to get to those but 
It's not going on the wall this year anyway. Hopefully that's my screen grab. <laughs> Midnight Way, called for fabric. It's called Picture This Plus Whimsy in 28 count. It's really pretty. Also, I'm wearing my cowl. This is the Cat Vent Cowl by On Katan Biug. Um, it is reversible and it is so cute. I absolutely love it. And it's super warm as well. It's a little bit loose on me, but that's okay. I have two new starts. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Um, let's start with the one that I began on stream last Thursday. Thursday? Tuesday? Oh, I can't remember. I really can't remember. Um, I decided to start a small from this little booklet that I got in my box for Halloween last year. This is called Spooky Stories, Bookmark, and Scissor Fob. And I started the Scissor Fob, which is a picture of this witch. I'm using the kit, kitted up fabric and uh, flosses and everything. And this is called 32 count gray balsalt. No, basalt. I can read. 32 count gray basalt and white splash Lugana. And you're going to have that. Hang on. Here we go. So this is my teeny tiny start. It's one over one on 32 count, which is so incredibly small. Um, I don't think you understand how small this is. I had to stop. I had to stop doing this on stream because I just did. I need magnification to keep going with that. But essentially, in this kit here it came with the dmc for both it came with these really cute cat scissors and then it came with this gorgeous untwist there we go scissor fob so the witch goes in the center of this fob eventually. Um, so that was a new start. And like I said, it's, it's so little, which way does it go? This way. That's, that's the witch's chin. Kind of looks like a skeleton right now, in fairness. But um, I got to start on it. I don't know. Hopefully I can make a finish on it, but I'm not going to be taking this on vacation with me because it is too hard to see and it's hard to hold. And I won't have any of my stitching accoutrement with me when I go. However, I did have a Halloween new start yesterday. This one I've been wanting to start and I decided that I wanted to take this one on vacation with me. This is also from a box, The Witchy Stitchers Ghost Stories. This one is 64 by 90 stitches, two strands on 28 count. And the called for fabric is actually 32 count Fright Night by Fortnite Fabrics. Now, I don't know what happened, okay? I don't remember, and I went back to watch some of the videos of Vlogoween last year. I can't find Fortnite Fabrics Fright Night. It's not in a tote, it's not, it's not my organization or anything. So I'm thinking that it might be that we got sent like a backup fabric instead, maybe? I don't know, because because I was getting really disheartened because I was like, oh my God, I thought we had the call for fabric and I was tearing apart everything. When I came across, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna unfold it like a little bit this way. I came across this fabric and it looks just like Fright Night to me. Now, it's a little less orange. 
This is an unnamed B Stitch Me 28 count. And I've decided, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. It's fine, I can do this. So this is, this is a piece of, like I said, 28 count B Stitch Me. And I made a start on it yesterday. I made a pretty good, decent start on it. Oh, it is more orange on this side. Okay, so you see what I mean? Like, it looks kind of like the fo cover photo. Make sure that the pattern doesn't fall out. See that? And then see that? It's kind of similar. So I don't know, I don't know where Fright Night is, but I just started it on this piece since it wasn't kitted up with anything already. And it's beautiful. I really like it. And all I did to start was I measured two inches in and a little bit further um, to find like the corner. And then I counted and I added a few more stitches to make it centered to the quarter of this piece of fabric because I think this is an 18 by 27 piece. Isn't it beautiful? So I think I can use it for something else later on. It won't take up that much and it's beautiful. I love the modeling on this, it's beautiful. Um, I think the needle minder is Autumn Lane, I think. I can't remember. And it came with all of the flosses. So here is the card for the fabric. And the flosses. So it's got three weeks. And well, two, two colors of weeks, but they're all they all go to it. And then, y'all, I got my own hole puncher to make my own floss drops. And I had totally slept on the fact that last year I purchased card paper, cardstock paper for Halloween. So I made these. I don't think you can see. You can't see them. They're little Halloween, like ghosty lollipops and candies on that side and then on this side it's got like cauldrons and you know smoke and magic and whatever so I went ahead and made floss drops and I've decided to start doing this because when I'm finished with these DMCs I'm going to then move the rest into my DMC floss anthology Oh, that's the one that doesn't say floss anthology. Um, binders that I got from Etsy. So that's what's going to happen to the leftovers of the, the flosses, the DMCs when I'm done with them. So yes, I'm really happy about this start and I am taking it on holidays with me. I am going to take it. It's going to be my new... Um, my new whip in the 805 stitcher bag that I got back in 2020. It's covered in Luna's fur because she is still shedding. Yes, aren't you? You're a good girl though. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. She's doing really well, by the way, if anybody was wondering. Um, and no, no problems from her leg. If you're, if you're a little behind on my videos, Luna had to have her leg amputated in the summer. I think it was back in June or late May when that happened. So anyway, oh, and that's a piece of floss that belongs in there. We will put that to the side. It's okay. My fabric, my fabric, my desk is covered in everything. So those were my new starts uh, in the past week or so. And then I've got two whips. So my first whip that I can share with you is Siach. And we've been talking about Siach for a little while. Um, it's like a contemporary cross stitch challenge thing, competition, stitch along. And you can either participate for free or you can choose to donate to the 
designers slash organizers, which is a wonderful thing to do. And I am, this is now, just show you, it's a really, I am currently working on this and I am, I was trying to be really quick about it. So I threw it into a hoop, which I don't usually use hoops. I usually use Q-snips, right? But the working area on this whip is usually about 250, 300 stitches. So um, I just went ahead and put it in the hoop for ease of starting and finishing this today, if possible. But I don't know if I have enough time to do it right now. So I definitely didn't want to wait to film until this was finished. Um, basically, I finished last week's drop, uh, drop two. And I've started on drop three and I am doing a tone on tone. I'm doing this on purpose. Um, let's see if I can move my needle. Got I'm carrying my thread behind. So my fabric is an opalescent. This is called Cosmos by Bee Stitch Me. And it's very, very galaxy colored and very dark so that the opalescent is super, super bright. Now, this is gonna be very tone on tone, but do you see what happens when I turn the whip just a little bit? It's much easier to read. Um, it's just like that, kind of in real person, in real life, okay? But that's how opalescent works. So I thought that it would be cool. Cool, cool taco. Um, but basically, we're kind of making these into flowers now, um, getting leaves in there. There's more words up at the top. And there might be an S in there, some more S there. Um, but these words, if you've, if you've done any stiaches before, you know that the, the letters that are here right now will not stay like this. Uh, this is just, it's just supposed to be funny. Um, so yeah, that's where I am on Stay Out right now. I'm taking this with me on my vacation because I want to travel with it and I want to share photos with it while we are over there. I can't wait. I have been wanting to go to the beach for so long. You have no idea. I love the beach. Anybody else? I mean, I know some people, some people like the beach but I love the beach. I would live on the beach. And here's my color palette. I am using a hodgepodge of colors from my stash to mimic palette number two. And I think they're beautiful. I think that they go really well together. And even on the dark fabric, they're very neon. So they're working. They're working and I have faith have faith that my color palette will see me through um, till how do I put this I'm pretty sure that my color palette is just fine um, the the letters that are on there they might be surrounded by something else at the end you know that kind of thing so that is stiach which I need to put I'm gonna put it over there because I'm coming back to that later on today. And yes, next up. <laughs> uh, breathe. Next up is a the one that I worked on the most um, in the past week and some change since I've seen you. And I do have a hanging thread and I'm sorry about that, but I'm not, I'm not worried about it. I have been working on a piece called Dracula's Confession by Lindy Stitches, and I don't think I have a photo. I don't have time to share photos and edit this video, so I do apologize, but, but this is Dracula's Confession. This is almost, I think I'm at 41.22% on the pattern so far. Basically, I'm taking this with me because I think I can actually probably finish this uh, while I'm over there. I made two mistakes here and I would go on and on about why I think I made those mistakes, but really, it doesn't matter. I, I fixed it. Um, 
I am using the called for flosses, all of the called for flosses except the lightest gray is a blend of two grays. I think it's like 150, I can't remember, 414 and something else. And um, I'll have, I'll have a, a whole thing for you later. Um, once I finish it, I'll have the conversion. But this chain goes down to about there, I think. And then over here, there are words and there are falling leaves. And there are more words down here. Words go so fast for me. So that's why I was thinking if I start, I take this on vacation. Um, this could even be like airport stitching or plane stitching. If I just work on the words there, it'll be done really quickly. So I don't have a goal to finish this while I'm on holiday because I'm literally going zero stress, zero anticipation for any kind of finishes on anything while I'm there. But I am very happy. This is, oh, I forgot to tell you, this is 28 Count Gilded by Mystic Fabrics, and that is true color. It's making me all red, but it's true to the actual color. I thought I heard an ambulance. Okay. Now, happy mail. <laughs> I have two two things of Happy Mail. I'm not sure if I talked about this here. This basket, um, I believe that I told you, the, the envelope that's under the basket is from Evertote. So Evertote and Modern Folk Embroidery are doing a countdown to Christmas, like Advent style pattern release. And I believe it is a band sampler. I have not opened the envelope. I will not open the envelope. I believe that it was said that it could be done monochromatically or in like a rainbow. So we'll see. When I open it, I will figure it out. Uh, there's no pressure. I, no pressure. But above it, a friend actually did that herself. So Hannah, took a pattern and cut it up into pieces for me to stitch and each envelope represents a day. So thank you. I will try my best to stay up with that, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. It'll be a lot in the month of December. And uh, I've got two, two other things to show you. Uh, well, three. That is after. I need some water. Hold on one second. Stay hydrated, y'all. Let's talk about this. This is a unicorn of mine. This is a project bag, okay? This project bag came in like three weeks ago and I totally spaced out on it last time because I was so rushed that I didn't have time in my brain to remember. But this is from Kaylee Cross Stitch. Kaylee Cross Stitch is on Floss Tube, and she makes really big, well, and medium-sized project bags. This is my largest project, project, which is Zen Moss Garden Chatelaine, which yes, I will take out again someday. I have, I have lots of beautiful projects that I love that are huge. <laughs> Right, and this is one of those. Oh, so beautiful. All the specialty stitches. Anyway, so this is a massive frame. This is a 12 by 14, 12 by 17 Q snap that I've used the, oh, I can't remember her name now. Someone on YouTube has a tutorial on how to tie these ribbons and it's a really brilliant idea because that'll hold back all of the excess fabric, right? Um, anyway, this is my biggest project and I, before I had the, do you see that bag that I'm pointing to right there? It's got peacock feathers. It's 
a light blue in the background beside the other Garon Toten Bags bag, which is a watermelon. Um, that was my biggest project bag. Those two were my biggest project bags and it could only fit the project. It could not fit all the other stuff, which is all in there. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of floss on this project um, and beads and everything else. Huh, I don't even have the beads in there, do I? I do not. Those are literally just flosses. So um, I needed a big, big bag. So I went and I ordered it from Kaylee Cross Stitch. Finally, I said, you know what? I want the Zen bag for my Zen Moss Garden. And when I set down the bag, it stopped recording. And I have been talking for another 20 minutes. Okay, so I said I wanted a Zen bag for my Zen Moss Garden Chatelaine. This bag is so big. So I had it in another project bag because the Q-Snap that I'm using for this Chatelaine is 12 by 17. Yes, 12 by 17 for this project. Um, and those those project bags, which are Garon Toten bags, beautiful bags, cannot also accommodate all of those all of those flosses. There's so many flosses in there, y'all. There's so many flosses. So um, I bought the bag. I, I built, I bit the bullet and I bought the bag. And then Kaylee said, oh my God, it's you. I watch your channel. I was like, mm, thank you. Um, and I, fo I followed her because, because I'd seen this bag. I'm gonna gush about this bag for a little bit more. Um, I had seen this bag last year and I didn't buy it. I did the thing, you know, the thing where you go, okay, if I want this in another six months, I'll go ahead and buy it. Well, it was about a year. So I went ahead and I bought it. These are very well made and, um, super big. So definitely check the size before you order. <laughs> um, but I needed the biggest she she got, and the this is the cutest, the absolutely most adorable little goldfish in a bag, zipper pool. So Kaylee was amazing and said, "I want to give you a gift." So she sent me another bag. Look at this. It's basically the same print, but smaller. And with cranes that have purple heads. It's so beautiful. And I love this. The inside fabric, I don't know if you could tell because of the vinyl, but the copper is actually a little bit metallic. Very pretty. The sun's come out. I don't know if you could tell. Also, she gave us some fabric. This is a honeycomb. Charles Craft. And it's an even weave. And it's very... um. I don't know how to put this. It's, it's, it's very chonky. Like it's very plush, right? The fabric is very thick. I don't know how else to put that, but I love how this looks. Um, it looks kind of like it's painted, but it's inked because it goes on to the other side. It's just much fainter on the other side. Um, so it's quite quite interesting to me. I would love to know how they make that. She also sent this beautiful piece of, uh, it's like a watercolor ice dyed effect. I'm pretty sure, please let me know, Kaylee, if you're watching this, right? Is this where you put it on the bar like that and then let the, yeah. You know what I mean? Because I just saw that on my Instagram feed and it's so mesmerizing. I absolutely love it. So beautiful 16 count Ada called Love Potion. And then, can you tell that I recorded this already? I have something for you all. This. This is a like comic book, 1940s, 50s style fabric. 
and it is gorgeous. So, um, pretty sure that's, that's Dick Tracy. I don't know who this is. I know that that's something famous. And then this one is all about like, I don't know the inside though. There's a hoop included because this is more for hoop stitchers. And then they're doing, there's a Batman thing. It's a very cool bag. I really like the bag, um, but I'm going to go ahead and give it away. It also has a, a handle on it like this. And it has a zipper pull of Converse. Before, before I give this away though, please, I don't know if I've said this already. She is the sewing shop dot ca slash shop the sewing shop dot ca slash shop kaylee um so if you would like this please be over 18 please be a subscriber that would be great um there's really no way for me to check but it would be awesome if you decided to subscribe and and support me in that way that's free and um, also you need to be able to have filled in the happy mail form, which is listed down below in the description box of this video and every video, every Flossy video. Um, it is the happy mail 2022, the new happy mail form. Just check real quick before you make a comment because um, if I don't have your information, then there's no way for me to contact you. So that I just collect your email address so that if you win, I can email you. Um, I don't hunt after people uh, who have won giveaway prizes. So this will be sent anywhere you want, anywhere in the world. And I'm asking that you use the word bag, B-A-G, in your comment. I cannot be any more easier than that. Good luck, everybody. I will pick a winner before my next floss tube. Then I have, I don't even know if I shared this. I have Etsy and Amazon purchases. I'll show you my Etsy one first. So I bought some project bags from Betty Home Decor on Etsy. I just thought that bag was so fun. Cartoon birdies. Very well made, very soft. There is no zipper pull though. So you can use whatever you like. I got I think I got I got bit by something while filming. How does that happen? How does that happen? Anyway, and this is the second one. It's just black cats and paw prints. Reasonably priced. I got these on sale because I was following their shop. And I waited until I was ready. I found these two. I thought these were cute. I don't know if I have any, do I have any cats cross stitch? Anyway, they're black, white, white, black. And then I got this from Amazon. This, <laughs> this is a Bucilla, B-U-C-I-L-L-A felt calendar kit. Here's the story behind this. When I was a kid, my grandma actually had a felt advent calendar and she made little ornaments out of sequins and stuff like that. And every day you would put the ornament in the pocket on this calendar, on this tree. This is like the, the bougie version of that. Um, and I'm really excited to make this heirloom because I, I feel like if I make this, I could pass this down to future generations. And that's what my grandma who passed away would have wanted. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make my own and I'm going to pass it down and make somebody else happy. So basically this is a calendar that you hang up on the wall and every day, you tack one of the ornaments on during the month of December uh, up until the 24th and you can do it in whatever day, you know, whatever range you want. There's no numbers. There are no numbers on the ornaments unless they're on the back. But I don't think so. 
this is what it looks like. <laughs> um, and so what I'm going to do when I get back from my holidays, I'm planning on streaming this on Twitch. I go live over on Twitch twice a week um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I'm on in the morning for all of you Americans. Uh, and the evening for all of my Aussie friends. I'm on from 11 to about 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon on Tuesdays and Thursdays, Irish UK time. And yeah, it'll be fun to do this with you all. And even if we don't get the whole thing done before Christmas, that's fine. But I thought that it might be fun. And you might be able to encourage me to actually finish it. I don't have high hopes that it would be finished by Christmas this year, but it would be cool if I could get the tree done. Basically, you start down at the bottom. I did read the instructions. You start at the bottom. <laughs> and it is it is really pretty. I love all the sequins and the pom-poms and everything else. So, yeah. Have you ever done one of these before? They're very popular. They have lots of stockings and... <laughs> I could even found a Busilla toilet seat cover and uh, what's the top? It's not latrine. Jeez, that's like the military word for toilet, right? There's there's the, you know, the lid of your toilet in Western countries. It covers that as well. Bizarre. Um, so, yeah, let me know if you've ever done one of these before. And did you find it difficult? I've, I read the instructions that said, do not cut everything out first. <laughs> so I won't be doing that. Um, but yeah, it's got all of the, all of the everything down in here and it should be fun. Uh, and then more plans. I am planning on picking up my Gaia, the Earth Goddess by Bella Filipina. I am I am thinking about her a lot lately. I want to work on her more. And Autumn Lane Stitchery's um, Dark Queen of the Earth, the next drop is supposed to come out in just a few hours. So, you know, it's on my mind that I wanna work on her, but I cannot take her on the holidays because I have all of the floss in my binder system. <laughs> and there's only so much you can take on a Ryanair flight. So um, that is really, all that I wanted to talk about as far as that goes. So let's just do a little, a little catch up here at the end and then I'll let you go. Because I'm sure that my husband will be home soon. And I just want to, to address something because it really rocked me. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of bad stuff going on in, in the news, you know, that you hear. Um, I am still pro Black Lives Matter, um, totally against Nazis. Like what, uh, what's happening? How is this allowed to happen? Um, and I don't, I just, no, I have no room in my life for anti-Semitism. Um, And then, and then, okay, so that's the angry part of me. And um, I know it doesn't have anything to do with crafting, but I am human. <laughs> and these are things I think about. And one of the things that happened over the weekend um, while people were enjoying their Halloween celebrations in South Korea, in Itaewon, um, there was a crowd crush. And over 150 people died. They're no longer on earth because of this crowd crush. And it was shocking. Uh, I lived in South Korea from 2010 to 2014, and I had never seen anything like that happen before. Um, yeah, I just don't have words. I am so sorry. If you have lost someone because of the crowd crush, just know that my heart is with you because all I could think about was how if we lived there still, we would have known someone who would have been there. There were 200,000 people at that event. 
Um, I have done some research since because even though I live in the middle of nowhere, um, it's really good to know what to do in that situation. So please, if you live in areas with a lot of people or if you're planning on going to an area or a, a crowd or a concert or whatever, especially if they have mosh pits, please educate yourself or re-educate yourself on what to do when there's a crowd, like when you start to feel pressure on all sides and how to avoid getting hurt. Um, people have been theorizing that because of the pandemic and because of our isolation um, that we have forgotten. I don't know if that's true or not, but um, I do think that certainly being home more and being out less uh, in those sorts of things, like we would we would probably just let our guard down a bit more, you know what I mean? Anyhow, regardless, um, the police have admitted fault. Um, it was their fault that they did not have enough manpower to handle the situation and they did not take it as seriously and I believe that there are lots of reasons for that none of which belong on a Foss tube channel right now but um yeah I'm really sad I'm really sad and concerned and I hope that if anybody watching this is living there and is going through that just know that you're I'm thinking of you there are lots of us thinking of you and our our hearts go out. And if there's anything that we can do, um, please, please let me know. You can me message me privately if you like. It's really on my mind. So I've mentioned it a few times this week, but I just, I just can't believe it. I can't believe it. So I will let you go. Thank you so much for watching uh, my videos. I do appreciate it. Uh, I will be back in about two weeks. And um, I hope that you enjoy your stitching, your fall, autumn season, or your springtime if you are in Australia or the Southern Hemisphere. Um, I, I hope, oh my gosh, I could, I, I'm so excited to get into warm weather. Um, it's been so damp and cold around here lately that I just, yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> so um, I, I don't know, I don't know what else to say. Thank you so much for watching again, and I will see you all in two weeks' time. Bye!